How much fasting do you really need to do to boost your stem cells? Hi, I am Christian Drapo. I'm a stem cell scientist and I help people live longer, better lives. It was shown that you need to fast for three days and more to put more stem cells in circulation. So let's start to describe a little bit the process of what, what needs to be done for this fasting. So when you fast, after about uh, let's say half a day toward 18 hours of fasting then that's when really the phenomenon of fasting starts to develop in the body you start to tap into your glycogen reserve uh, right reaching 18 20 hours you're running out of that glycogen reserve and that's when you slowly start to fall into ketosis your body is going to start to tap into fats during that time there is a hormone that goes into your body called ghrelin and that is what making you experience the sense of Longer. You need to understand this is not your body screaming uh, to death. It's not your body saying that it's in danger. No, it's just a hormone that is making you feel hunger. Your body is totally fine. It's falling into ketosis and this is oftentimes associated with a sense of, if you put the hunger aside, to a sense of like bliss, of well-being, your brain is on a very smooth source of energy. So if you keep going a little bit longer, when you fall into like your second day, starting third day of fasting, uh, then oftentimes the ghrelin now starts to go down. And that is why when you fast for more than three days, oftentimes what you experience is almost like bliss, like there's no hunger, you're not hungry. Now your body is in full ketosis you are really living on your fats and that is when the number of stem cells in circulation start to really peak at the same time you have the phenomenon of autophagy that has started so your st your cells start to rejuvenate so you have rejuvenation of aging cells while you bring new fresh stem cells to your tissues and that is why fasting is so rejuvenating uh, when you want to stop your fast when do you stop it I mean, you could decide yourself when to stop it. You can say, I'll do four, five, six days. But really, to me, what I've experienced over the years is that when you let your body telling to you when to end fasting, it's probably the best time to end fasting. And you end your fast with something very soft, like a vegetable broth, really well-cooked vegetables like broccoli, like cabbage. Uh, you don't want to get into a lot of food quickly. You want to really ease into this, a bowl of black rice. And you also want to do to prepare before going into your fasting. You want to probably empty your intestine, not have any heavy meals before, and slowly smooth into your fasting and then experience the rejuvenation of fasting.